Hi, today I'll be talking about what causes a hard drive to fail and some some symptoms that your hard drive might be failing. And the main point of this is that if it is failing, or even if it isn't about to fail, it could fail at any point. And I'm saying you should probably back up your data before it does fail because... I know lots of people don't back up their data and then they're having some serious issues after. So basically, a few ways you can tell this is one, you can go over here, you see this HD Tune Pro app. Well, I recommend it. I think you should get it. This app basically allows you to test your drive, and what it's doing right now, it's testing it. And these green blocks mean it's okay, those pieces. But there will be red blocks in here, eventually here, just because this drive is damaged. It's seven years old, seven and a half, about eight actually now, but... You can see there's 1878 hours of runtime on here. It repaired two of these 10. No, actually, there was a total of 12 errors on this drive. Damaged sectors. Now, there's 10 of them that are damaged right now. About a week ago, this drive only had three damaged sectors. And over a week's time, it accumulated seven more sectors that were damaged. So yes, it's very easy for your drive to become corrupt. And then, then you lose all your data. I mean, there's some recovery services out there, but they're very, very expensive. So the main point is back up your data while you have the chance to. As you can see, it's position 85 gigabytes right now. The last time I checked this, it, it got it was damaged at 160 gigabytes. And like I said, this is my system drive. It's a it's my uh, 250 gigabyte Hitachi drive. People say these are the most reliable. It lasted seven years, so I I count that as reliable. I'm probably gonna replace it soon. Whenever I can get some funds. Actually, I have funds, but I just haven't bought one yet. Another thing is, after you do that, another another way you can tell that it's dying is that, well, basically it gives you a blue screen of death. For those of you who don't know what a blue screen of death is, it's basically an error that pops up on your screen and has a frowny face from Windows 10. And I'll show you if I can, I can, I'll see if I can replicate it. This is not going to be good but for my drive, but I'm going to first get rid of all my static electricity. Okay. There we are. You see that? Now it's trying to boot off this hard drive because that's the only one connected. Now it says no boot disk has been detected or the disk has failed. And that's because I don't have the power connector plugged in to the drive. Fix that really fast. So we're doing it on camera. Yes, like I said, a blue screen of death can happen at any time. And a lot of times, this is hard drive related. If this happens to you, you want to be sure you have all your data backed up. Or what you can do, this is much easier, you can clone your drive. But, there's a requirement for this. To do that, 
you have to have at least the same size of drive that this is. This is a 250 gig. Now this drive right here is a one terabyte, so this would work perfectly fine for it. But you can't have anything that's lower than it. Because it won't work. I'm going to see if I can replicate that little screen again. Now basically, the computer... Oh wait a minute, it's booted off my other disk. Oh, never mind. I have to unplug this disk too. Yep, there you go. Now I have no drives plugged in. The computer is confused. And there, as you can see, we just had a blue screen death. You can see the frowny face up in the top left corner of the screen. And basically this means that your uh, your thing, I mean your drives have possibly failed. Now, there are certain ways you can fix this, but they're not particularly the best ideas. This drive actually got cloned. Now I'm going to show you how to clone your drive. Real quick, let me boot it up real quick. I'll be back when it's booted. Okay, we're booting the Windows 10. Give it a minute here. Okay, we're booted. I'm going to sign in. I'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, guys, I've taken these things off just because I'm going to use some epoxy, which will keep this stuff way more solid. See, this, this is not really the most solid right now. So, I'm going to use some epoxy. And also in another video, I'll be showing you how to uh, make an Xbox One Connect PC compatible. So you can use it as a face cam for your gaming videos. Which I think would be pretty sick. Okay, as you can see, we're in Windows 10 right now. We've booted. Everything's all set up. Now we're going to go for up a second. So, this app is Make Room Reflect, it's called. Now, this app will allow you to clone your drives. This is basically so you have all your data in the exact same way that you had in the other drive. Just on a different drive, and it will work perfectly. As long as your other drive is da that's, that, that will be damaged, it's not damaged. See, that's the problem. You have to do it before it gets damaged. Otherwise, you have a failed attempt on your drive cloning. I'll get into this app right now, though. Now, as you can see, it says clone this disk. Now, we're going to click that. Are you here? Now we're going to select a disk to clone this to. Now this will be your target drive that you're going to be using to, uh, you know, make it work. Now this, this drive that I targeted it to is unformatted to this NTFS. And this will not exactly work. I can delete the existing partition. No. So. But what I'm saying is... Once you're done with this, you're going to click next and finish. What do you want to do now? Run this back up. We're going to go OK. It's going to start cloning your disk to your target disk, which is my one terabyte. Ver so this disk is being transferred over to this. It's going to be exactly the way it was on the other disk. This is not going to exactly work right now just because my drive is damaged and plus I mean my older my old drive is damaged plus it's uh
that's all you really need to know. This is, that's basically, that's all you really need to know about how to uh, make your drive work. Well, you can't make your drive work again. I mean, there's ways to fix these hard drives that are damaged, but it requires opening up the drive, which is very risky. The drive is one of the most susceptible components of a computer, and it wouldn't be the best option. I mean, it's it's good to have like a clean room, is what I'm saying. So it's basically a dust-free environment. So there's not a chance of putting dust on the disc, on the platter inside the drive, which will make it, which would make it be corrupt and make a bunch of dead sectors. And then you could just lose all your data altogether. If you put a fingerprint on there, then you kind of damage your drive. Yes, as you can see, it failed just because of the fact that, like I said, my drives aren't really in the correct format for one. And my, uh, my older drive is damaged. Yes. That's basically it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Or any PC topics you want me to talk about. Or anything else. Like, it can be anything actually.